Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Project Treble port on our Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and Galaxy Note 8. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, in my last video, you saw about the Galaxy S8 2016 Treble and now our Galaxy S8 also has Treble. So, like a lot of Samsung devices got Treble ported, so that's really awesome because of the SOCs by Samsung are actually similar as you can see into the treble check app it says the project treble supported now the seamless update services for the a b devices is not supported of course but yes you can flash a only gss now we don't even need a b gss so yeah this is our a only device so as you can see into the settings into system uh, into about phone i am running the descendant gsi and as you can see android version 9 the setting status it's of course permissive and we also do have the descendant latest 4.0.1 with the security patch of August uh, uh, 1 August 2019 so that's really awesome so guys this is the heads uh, treble project for Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and Note 8 and all of the following files which are required to install or like patch treble to the recovery and all are given below in the description so you need to follow every instructions of this video and also if you want some further details you can check the description too Okay guys, so let's straight away move towards the installation. Also some of the features of the vendor, like the vendor features are like you can set the Bixby key to anything. So you have to select this uh, while installing the vendor and you will get aroma for, uh, aroma actions. So you can just choose in them. And then yes, we also have the hard press as you can see home key function which is available through the vendor and also dual speaker mod but I haven't installed it I enjoy a single speaker only also I don't watch a lot of entertainment on this because I watch it on my Redmi Note 7 Pro and yeah it supports Netflix HD on ASP ROM so that's awesome okay uh, let's leave the, all that and let's move to the installing of this so first you have to power off your device also make sure you have latest TWRP 3.3 installed uh, which is the official one yeah you need the official one also, I have made a separate video, you can watch it here or here somewhere, uh, it will be in the i button, I don't know. And yeah, let's proceed towards uh, uh, installing. Now you have to boot your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus or Note 8, whichever device you have, into the recovery mode. So you have to press the volume up, uh, the power button and the Bixby button. And if you have older recovery, you can just flash the image. So I have already made a video, you can check the i button, I already told you guys. Uh, let me just uh, dim down the brightness okay this is awesome okay now first thing you have to do is you have to back up your older rom if you want to just try out table but if you're moving as a daily driver you can do it because there are like no bugs just the source like rom gsi related bugs now first of all you have to go to wipe dalvik system vendor data and cache swipe to wipe now let's go back into install and into install you have to first flash the table convert it may take some extra seconds for you because I had already uh, flashed the treble convert so you have to flash this and then you have to flash the treble pi vendor now this is the 86 which is oh sorry 68 which is a 6 August 2019 updated vendor so you have to flash that and as you can see uh, aroma options are opening and you have to next uh, proceed you have to agree with all this then you have you can see the change log what's change in this new vendor and as you can see we have some main options in here so you can choose uh, what you want between them so just i will choose uh, increase volumes or enable hard press and you can also force to single sim if you are using a single sim and i will choose a screenshot there are a lot of options for the big speak key usage uh, you can check in here and also while you are installing you will be able to so next and install now it will uh, install so yeah just wait for it to install so guys the installation ends in some seconds so you have to just go to end and do not reboot go to end don't reboot the device because you have to flash gsi the main gsi uh, which is the uh, rom of course uh, yeah this is the treble that uh, sorry the trip i don't know why it just messes up then go to install image and you can download any uh, treble gsi i recommend try eox or Havoc OS or Dot OS or the Descendant which I'm trying which has a different and unique UI. Now you have to flash this via system image. Flashing system image. Also make sure guys you are running latest Pi firmware. Uh, I don't know if it supports Oreo but yeah please uh, just go to uh, Pi firmware. 
uh, like the pi stock rom install it once uh, yeah you can see as it is uh, like flashing the uh, descendant system image and it flashed in a really quick time so that's awesome let's reboot device and it will say no os installed uh, so yeah just ignore it and reboot the device now let's wait for the boot animation yeah it may boot loop once or twice so don't take any uh, like just don't get confused it will uh, like once or twice just and as you can see the descendant uh, boot animation has just started and now we'll just wait for it to reboot into the system okay guys as you can see the gsi just booted so we'll just go quickly into the settings and you can see the ui a really different ui i'll be uh, like uh, just uh, reviewing the gsi's uh, some of the gsi soon so just don't make it now so as you can see august 1 29 security batch android 9 and yes you can also flash oem ported gss like oxygen os miui and a lot other i will try if there is one stable build or like for the one plus six oxygen os but uh, whatever i had tried on the gsn 2016 treble it was not that much stable so yeah you have to check actually what is stable and what not but oem ported gss are not at all usable so I just, uh, I just say like just wait for the vendor to fix bugs or just try this awesome OSP GSS which are really smooth and that will uh, bring a great experience to you guys. So guys I missed one important thing which is flashing G apps and I forgot to show you that. So I will just repeat the procedure again. So yeah I will just uh, skip uh, and uh, like towards the uh, GSI flashing procedure and then you can like let me show you how to install the GSI. So first I will do a wipe. I will start installing the vendor again. Now no need to flash the treble convert zip if you are flashing uh, like a different GSI again. So yeah, I will just uh, skip this step. Okay, guys, as you can see, I have installed the GSI again. Now it's time to flash G app. So let's step again to the installation uh, of the G app. So into the G app, so uh, you just have to uh, swipe to confirm flash. Now you'll get an uh, error regarding insufficient space. So as you can see. If you are going to just directly install G apps, uh, you will get an error as you can see insufficient space. Now for that, uh, to fix that, you have to go to advanced wipe system, repair resize file system, swipe to resize. Now this will also fail. As you can see, it also failed. So now you have to reboot recovery, and you have to follow these exact uh, steps. Of course, you will get uh, uh, G apps error. Like everyone will. So you have to follow these steps. Now go to wipe again, advanced wipe, system, oops, resize. Now it will pass. As you can see, it has been resized, so just resize. Now let's go back, let's slash G apps. And as you can see, the G apps are getting flashed now. So there are no issues now regarding installing of the G apps. As you can see guys, G apps are successfully installed. Now let's reboot the system. And of course it will boot. And I will just let you take, uh, I'll just like skip to the home screen now. And as you can see guys, I'm into the setup wizard and now you can set up your phone. Sorry about the brightness, it's a bit bright here into the setup wizard. So now you can set up your phone easily. So I'm just going to like skip it and show you the play store and everything. And you can set up your phone and uh, then uh, you can add your account and install apps and you can enjoy this gsi so guys yep uh, that's it for the video if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button also all of the feedback and comments should be in the description uh, sorry in the comment section and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video till then bye bye bye, -bye.